Well, I started playing hockey when I was four. I did kind of uh, skills development type uh, hockey, and then I got really into it, realizing that I was actually pretty good at the sport, and uh, just uh, continued from there. Well, I think for me and my journey, it was so important that I can go on the ice and no one can judge me. I could be just some kid, not some girl, not some boy, just some kid. And that made me just love it even more. I'm biologically female. By the age of four, I knew that there was something that wasn't right, and that's when uh, I was very depressed. And at four and a half, I did express suicidal thoughts. And that's when my parents realized that something was up. I basically chalked it up to my daughter being a real tomboy. And it wasn't until uh, probably age four or five that it was much, much more pronounced and obvious that she saw herself or himself as male. The age of nine was when I got the medical treatment in terms of the blockers and, and what's called Lupron, which suppresses female puberty in my case and, and allows me time to decide whether or not I want to transition or, or stay female. But going on blockers, it wasn't like a whole, okay, now I want to be a boy. It was two years of really thinking about who I really want to be. And when I did my transition at school, it was about halfway through my grade nine year. The vice principal and the Vancouver School Board worker were to go in and talk to all eight of my classes over two days. I wasn't worried because I had my, my core friends and, and they were going to back me up, and, but I'm definitely sure my mom was very anxious and worried those two days I stayed home. Those two days when Corey transitioned in high school were super difficult for me because I think that any parent wants their child to be accepted and loved for who they are and fit in and not be bullied and not be teased and, and uh, have a really positive high school experience. During the two days, I think it was, I got a lot of texts. Uh, I, I don't think I was really worried. I think I was more excited than anything. I want to see how are people going to react. It may take a few days, it may take years, but as long as they finally get, get it, then, then we're good. Picking a name is, is really hard. Uh, not a lot of people do it. My mom suggested one day, like, I'm a big Corey Schneider fan, and she's like, what about Corey? And I'm like, that actually might stick. On my birthday, the Canucks played, uh, was against the Calgary Flames, and I uh, had the honor of going on ice for the pre-game little skate thingy and then that national anthem and I'm a goaltender myself, right? And I really do model, try to model my play after Corey Schneider. I have his actual pads that I bought at the Canuck store and I had those with me and so we went backstage and I got to meet him. He's an awesome guy. Like the dream come true, I can't even think of another dream that could be possibly as amazing as that. For me, gender is a never-ending question. Um, I'm comfortable where I am now. I transitioned, I haven't regretted anything. I'm so proud of Corey and his journey and sharing that journey with everyone and the role he's taken on. It's bittersweet in some ways because part of it is super scary because you don't want your child to go through anything negative, but at the same time it was necessary. Now being 16, I don't regret anything that I've done. I see my, my path and my journey is, is just starting.